The following video has been paid for by Mankbastard. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for another WWE 2K22 video. I am Mank Bastard. Today I'm going to continue putting WWE 2K22 through its paces by taking a look at some of the more specialist match types in the game. This is the third video in a series of such. In today's video I'm taking a look at the most demonic match to ever take place in WWE. Hell in a Cell. Participating in today's Hell in a Cell match, the two names are the most synonymous names with this match in WWE history. First off we have the Phenom, the Dead Man, the Last Outlaw, the Undertaker. And facing him one last time, again, the Cerebral Assassin, the Game, the King of Kings, Triple H. Before we get to this, so if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to make sure that you receive alerts and notifications of new WWE 2K22 content as and when it becomes available on the channel. Let's get straight to it then. The Undertaker versus Triple H, Hell in a Cell. Here we go, Hell in a Cell. Triple H versus The Undertaker, one last time, again. Triple H starting things off early. He's got The Undertaker up high. And a big suplex. Triple H heading outside early. What are his intentions? He's heading below the ring and he gets... What did he go for there? Was he going for that iconic sledgehammer? Undertaker cuts him off at the pass with strikes into the steel steps. Taker heading under the ring. Brings out a steel chair early. The hardware's coming out, boys. Strike exchanges between the dead man and the cerebral assassin on the outside. Undertaker sent hard into the steel steps by Triple H. Big European uppercut from the game. And another one for good measure. Taker into the steel fence of the Hell in a Cell. Triple H sent up against the fence. And back into the ring from the dead man. Undertaker follows him back in. Triple H with a knee strike. Running knee from the game. Chair to the head of the Undertaker. And another one to the leg. Undertaker gets out of the way. Strike. Disarms the game. Oh. Snake Eyes in the corner. Big leg drop. Undertaker going up top. That's not like the dead man. And he decides and thinks better of it. Reversal by the Undertaker. Big shot to the back and kicks to the back of the head. Strike combo misses with the big boot. Triple H with a big back body drop with the arm folded behind the back of The Undertaker and now fists to the skull. Triple H going back to that steel chair. Oh! Just about disarmed in time. Undertaker, he could be going old school here. I think that's exactly what he's doing. Old school by the dead man. Goes for the chair himself. Doesn't connect. Doesn't connect again. Doesn't connect for a third time. Connects there though. So they're back. He's got him up high. Brings him down. Oh, what's this? Hell's Gate by the Undertaker and Triple H. Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate. Will Triple H tap out? Will he submit? No. Strikes from Triple H and he manages to get out of the hold. 
Triple H has the Undertaker up on his shoulders. Carries him over. To the ropes. Big press and oh to the side into the side of the cell. Incredible strength from the game. Back into the ring again they go. Spine buster from the game. What's he going for now? Could it be the pedigree? He's going for the pedigree. Oh! Reversal from the Undertaker. Undertaker reverses the pedigree. He's going for Hell's Gate again. Undertaker going for the submission again. Is Triple H going to tap out? Are we going to see the game tap to Hell's Gate? No, and he reverses again. Strike to the leg and manages to release the pressure of the hold. Back up on his shoulders. Snake eyes into the corner. Triple H tries to choke the life. Or at least what's left of it from the dead man. Does he have any at all? He is after all a dead man. Knee to the arm. Reversal by the Undertaker. Picks him up. Taker going old school again. For the second time tonight, old school. Undertaker stalking the game. Oh! And he beats him to it. Pedigree! Pedigree on the steel chair! One! Two! Oh! Kick out at two! Very uncharacteristic from Triple H. Up to the top row. Big double hand sledgehammer from the top row. Knee to the arm. Another big spine buster from Triple H on the, on the Undertaker. And now he's waiting for him. He's setting him up for another pedigree. What's going on? Reversal! Reversal again! And I think Triple H has been busted open. Undertaker with the, the game up high and a big press slam. Reversal again! Another pedigree! Again another reversal! The game cannot hit this pedigree. The Undertaker now on the back of the game. Pressure released. Knee to the stomach. Reversal again. Another reversal. It's back and forth action. Again, for the third time, we're going to see The Undertaker going up top and walking the ropes. Old school again. Stomp to the back of the head. Again. Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He's, uh, he's, he's quit. He's out. He's tapped. Undertaker wins by submission inside hell in a cell. Again. Again, a few moments in that match where we could have expected improvements from the AI, especially on things like chair shots. Overall, though, again, the game seems vastly improved on WWE 2K20. I'm looking forward to playing it so much more. I hope you will be as well. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.